We are shining the Mission Hero Spotlight on OneBud's Laboratories because it's Medical Laboratory Professionals Week. We have staff that are trained to perform all the tests to ensure that our blood products are safe and pure and potent. We're taking you behind the scenes to show you how each of our labs plays a major role in our life-saving mission. When you get that feeling you are doing what you are supposed to do and saving people's lives, it's the best. The special edition of Mission Hero News starts right now. Thanks for joining us, I'm Susan Forbes. And I'm Pat Michaels. Did you know that we have three types of labs in-house? They're biologics, product quality control, and our reference labs. And what about outside One Blood? Well, Pat, that includes Creative Testing Solutions, or CTS for short, which is where all the blood donations are tested to ensure they are safe. And then there's our Compatibility Testing Labs, commonly referred to as CTLs. Those are located inside the more than 250 hospitals we serve, and it's where the One Blood couriers deliver the blood products to. One Blood actually operates more than a dozen of those CTLs throughout our service area. One Blood has more than 500 team members in biologics and more than 200 in our reference labs, product quality control, and CTLs. The theme of this year's Lab Week is the lab is everything, and that is true here at One Blood. Yes, it is. Our labs play a major part in our life-saving mission. And in this episode of Mission Hero News, we're taking you behind the scenes to make sure that you know everything that goes on in One Buzz Laboratories, and we're kicking things off in biologics. And Susan, you know, rather than show you what's going on here, I'm just going to go right down there and show you One Buzz Lab, okay? All right. See ya. Bye-bye. This is Biologics, and it's the first stop for all blood donations. One Blood has Biologics labs in Orlando, Florida, St. Petersburg, Florida, and Charlotte, North Carolina, operating around the clock to get donations ready for hospitals. And it's a mighty team that processes and distributes more than one million blood products every year. So we are working hard. The entire team is on task and working very hard to get these products through so we can have them for our hospitals. The clock starts ticking when a One Blood courier drops off the donations that were just made. At the first stop, the donations are checked in. This is the first stop in the check-in station for all the donations that come in. I'm literally checking all the donations in, making sure that they all correlate with what's in the system. Then, donations are weighed and then spun down in the centrifuge. Now this is what the unit looks like after it's spun down. You can actually see all the components. The components in those bags are placed in extractors to separate out the red blood cells, platelets, and plasma. From there, the red blood cells are filtered. So we put the red blood cells on this filtration pool. While that's happening, the platelets and plasma are off to take another spin through the centrifuge to separate them. The platelets end up in the platelet room and are literally kept alive by these machines that constantly shake them. And the plasma goes into the deep freeze, stored at a frigid 31 degrees Fahrenheit below zero. And that is Biologics, everyone. It's a busy place and the team there is processing donations around the clock 365 days a year. All right, well, Pat, you know, I think I'll head down to the next stop okay. on this uh, tour around our labs, and that's going to be the Product Quality Control Lab. So, I'll All be right. right back. See ya. This is Product Quality Control, or PQC for short. It's where licensed One Blood medical technologists are testing the blood supply to ensure that it meets FDA standards. In the Product Quality Control Lab, we have staff that are trained to perform all the tests to ensure that our blood products are uh, safe and pure and potent and will be effective when transfused into the patients that we serve. It's like a safety net for the blood supply to ensure that the label on the blood product meets FDA standards. It's just like any pharmaceutical. When you pick up a bottle of Tylenol, it's labeled Tylenol 500 milliliter, uh, you know, the, the dosing and how to take it. Well, the same thing here. We put a label on that product that says what it is, how to store it, what it, what it has in it, and we have a whole set of instructions that go out to the doctors for how they, these products should be transfused, what is appropriate, when it's not appropriate. For me, it's a lot of responsibility because you have to make sure that you are reporting the correct the correct result. Once donations are processed and pass all the required testing, then and only then are they ready to be labeled and sent to hospitals. It's all part of One Blood's life-saving mission. I'm just so proud of, of being a med tech here and of, of working at One Blood. 
All right, Pat, well, that is a look around product quality control. And I, I tell you what, I find it so fascinating down yeah. there. Yeah, then, and everything that's happening in the labs, they operate around the clock here at One Blood, and they do amazing work. They really do. One Blood also has a team of dedicated medical technologists working around the clock in our reference labs. We have five reference labs, and they are located in Orlando, Fort Lauderdale, Tampa, and Jacksonville, Florida. We also have one in Charlotte, North Carolina. This is like looking for the needle in a stack. Sometimes you have to test over a thousand, two thousand, three thousand, up to a hundred thousand donors to find these very special donations. The med techs working in the reference labs are searching for very unique donations for very specific patients. We serve the hospitals in, in the terms that they send us the specimens when they cannot identify the patient's uh, antibody. We are specializing on that. We identify those rare antibodies, and then we try to match them with our donors. They are searching for some of the rarest blood in the world. Rare blood is defined as one in 1,000. We have to screen 1,000 donors to find one suitable donor. When it's really, really rare, it could be one in 10,000. So it depends on how rare the antigen is. When a rare donation is identified, it's carefully categorized, tagged, and stored. Some are used right away, but others can be frozen for up to 10 years. This laboratory had the expertise, the wonderful technical expertise, that is needed to find those very, very unusual donations. One Blood not only sends rare units to hospitals in our service area, but also around the globe. When you get that feeling that, wow, you are doing what you're supposed to do and saving people's lives, it's the best. We've told you about the labs that operate on One Blood property, but did you know there are two labs outside of One Blood that play a major role in our life-saving mission? That's right, Pat, and one of those labs, Creative Testing Solutions, tests thousands of samples from One Blood each day to ensure the safety of the blood supply. Creative Testing Solutions is located in St. Petersburg, Florida, and is the largest not-for-profit testing facility in the world. For One Blood, we test over 2,200 samples a day. What we do is invaluable. Even though what we do is in the background, no one really sees what we do. But without these critical steps in this process, there is no safe way to receive blood. The test tubes of blood One Blood's phlebotomists draw at the start of each donation are what is sent to CTS. Once here, each sample undergoes extensive testing. It's during this process that the blood type of the donation is determined. After the test tubes arrive each day, they are loaded into a centrifuge. They're spun down to separate the red blood cells from the platelets and plasma. Then the testing begins. There's a lot of testing that happens on these samples, on these blood units, before they ever receive a recipient. There's so many steps that we do to make sure that the blood supply is safe for our community. The Food and Drug Administration requires all blood donations undergo more than a dozen tests, including HIV, hepatitis B and C, West Nile virus, and many other infectious diseases. The team moves fast, getting results back to one blood in 12 hours or less to make sure we can carry out our life-saving mission. We're here for the benefit of the community. And there's one more lab that plays an important role in getting blood to patients. And that's the CTL or Compatibility Testing Lab. This CTL is inside Tampa General Hospital. Compatibility testing labs are the last stop for One Blood, and One Blood team members are at the helm of making sure donations make it safely to patients. This is a, a major level one trauma center. So, you know, every second counts, like I said, and we get every type of emergency you can think of here. And, um, you know, it's important to have that blood available at all times. One Blood couriers deliver blood around the clock. When the blood arrives, the One Blood team makes sure the right unit of blood goes to the right patient. We can get the blood products to the patient very quickly um, because, you know, we're doing this, the testing actually inside the hospital and making sure that those units are compatible for those patients who need it to save their lives. They are working behind the scenes 24-7, making sure blood donations reach patients in need quickly but safely. Thanks for joining us for this celebration of Lab Week. We want to thank all of our team members who work in our laboratories. Thank you for the incredible work that yep. you do in helping save lives.